Hello and welcome to Practical 365. My name is Siegfried Jagod and today I will be showing you the latest new features on Exchange 2019. This demo is based on a demo series and we show you today the new calendar features that are available in Outlook on the web. Remember, currently these features are not available in Outlook for Windows or Mac, but I guess in the near future you will see them as well. So let's start with the calendar features of Exchange 2019 CU1. Let's click sign in to my mailbox and the first feature I wanted to show you is what is called Better Out of Office. Better Out of Office allows you to configure automatic replies and you know out of office for uh, many many versions of exchange yeah but the new thing here is you can set a period of absence yeah so let's uh, say i'm absent f this week yeah and what's great here is you can block your calendar so then of course um, depending on uh, why you are not available other people will see that your calendar is blocked and don't invite you you automatically can decline new invitations yeah, during this period and you can also decline or cancel any meetings uh, for that period. So if you, for example, if you uh, organized a couple of meetings, yeah, you can select these here and they will be canceled automatically. Yeah? And once you click on accept, yeah, this will be saved to your calendar. You see it might take uh, a little while and then be available in your calendar and here you see it's already blocked um, so my calendar is already blocked and the meetings will be declined the next feature i wanted to show you uh, is when you create a new appointment so let's create a weekly meeting yeah let's say let's call it weekly meeting yeah and in this uh, we repeat it every monday yeah the key here is what you see and uh, that's that's new is that it automatically uh, gives you an end date so uh, so this will automatically end uh, basically in august so half a year ahead yeah? uh, those reoccurring meetings what's the benefit the benefit for this is that uh, in the past we had quite some issues with ios and other devices so and, um, and that was caused by uh, not setting an end date yeah so here the, your users now will get a default end date and that, of course, um, uh, helps you prevent problems in the future. Yeah? Um, what you also can do is, of course, if you, you don't want to configure end date, you can uh, change this to none. So you automatically has no, uh, not, you do not have an end date. Yeah? What's also great is, uh, besides the normal reminders for your calendar appointments, you can also add an email reminder. Yeah, here you basically you can send an email reminder let's say a day before and you say uh, you can um, tell uh, the your attendees what to do don't uh, forget forget the meeting yeah and that will uh, trigger an email being sent to all the attendees yeah uh, well you can define all attendees or me yeah? um, and so you get a reminder in your inbox about that yeah, once once you add more uh, more people, for example, we can uh, add Hans here. Yeah, uh, also a new features now available since Exchange 2019 CU1 is the Do Not Forward. So here you get a response option uh, setting, yeah, and you can allow forwarding, yeah, or not allow forwarding. So if you do not allow forwarding, yeah, of course Hans Koch cannot forward. That invite, yeah. And to show you this, I send off the weekly invite, and I change my inbox to uh, Hans Koch, yeah. And you will see that, yeah, I do not get the forward button here. So if I forward, you see it's grayed out, so I cannot forward this anymore. So this concludes my demo about uh, all the new calendar features in Exchange 2019 CU1. Thanks for watching and see you in my next Exchange 2019 new features demo. Bye.